China just found something big. Ernie Racing News, guys, March 1st, 2024. China discovered the world's largest metamorphic rock oil field. This means that China now has another massive source of oil and gas. It is not only a boom for China, but for all BRICS nations. According to reports, BRICS Alliance member China has uncovered what is the world's largest metamorphic rock oil field. The discovery was made in the Bo Bohai Sea, located near the Tianjin municipality. Moreover, the findings have led to a newly established reserve that exceeds a record finding of 40 million cubic meters. The findings are a massive success for the continued independence of the country's gas and oil exploration. Moreover, it provides China with an abundance of what is one of the world's most valuable resources. Indeed, engineers on the missions uncovered oil and gas layers that reached 118 meters in depth. Here is a post by the BRICS on um, X Twitter. The newly established reserve exceeds 40 million cubic meters. During the process of drilling and exploration, engineers discovered oil and gas layers reaching a depth of 118 meters. Over the last year, the BRICS Economic Alliance has seen tremendous growth, not only in its size, but also in its influence and economic standing. The collective had surpassed the GDP of all the G7 grouping countries and embraced a flora of deal dollarization plans that saw a receptive global economy. Entering 2024, the Alliance enacted its official five nation expansion plan and has continued much of the same work. Subsequ subsequently, one BRICS nation has just stumbled on massive wealth resource, China. Back to the main story. So this will undoubtedly help China reduce its dependency on Russia and the U.S. for oil and gas and shift power centers. And so would a BRICS currency, which Russia announced is also in the works. The Russian finance minister said that it is working on the BRICS bridge multi-sided payment platform to allow BRICS nations to trade not on the U.S. dollar. Oh no, the U.S. sanctioned itself out of the running. <laughs> They will be able to boost their own currencies with cooperative trade if this comes to fruition. Here is the BRICS member states to consider creating common digital payment platform. The gradual integration of the new BRICS member states into the work of the financial tracks and strengthening of cooperation at the expert level was noted as being one of the crucial tasks for 2024. And of course, talking about the BRICS, it is gaining in popularity, guys, tenfold year by year as countries are clamoring to join the BRICS group. Nearly three dozen countries are seeking entry into the China and Russia-backed BRICS economic group, member state South Africa said Wednesday, weeks after the body expanded its membership for the first time in more than a decade. 34 countries have submitted an expression of interest in joining the bloc of the major emerging economies, South African Foreign Minister um, told reporters without naming the nations. The growing membership is widely viewed as a win for China and Russia, which have sought to reshape an international system they see as unfairly dominated by the United States amid growing frictions with Washington and the West. Bris BRICS which since 2011 had been made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, roughly positioned, positioned itself as the global's South answer to the group of seven, the G7 major developed economies. And we all know the G7 is purposely running all those countries into the ground for their full global reset to get everyone suckling at their communist tits. Now, ironically, on the communism side, China has been a key driver of its expansion as leader Jinping, uh, leader Jing, Jinping pushes an alternative world order, forging closer relationships with key global players from Russia to the Middle East and strengthening international bodies where Beijing holds sway. Yeah, I mean, the irony is so great that uh, Canada, you know, it's what is 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 the G7 countries? Is it communism or is it, it's actually a form of another form of collectivism? All right, guys, that's the end of today's story on this subject. Thanks for watching.